here's my preferred procedure to publish a report on the Power BI service. So the Power BI service is the, is the website powerbi.com. And this is where when users in your organization have paid pro licenses, they can uh, share reports and schedule automated refresh of the reports in, for the organization. Therefore, I have a report. The way I've created that report, all the data sources for that report. So if I look under transform data, data source settings in Power BI desktop, I see the data sources for that files and it is all data sources from my cloud environment. So this way, uh, I won't be needing a gateway going to my personal local computer uh, to schedule refresh because the data sources are on the cloud. So my report, I save it uh, on my OneDrive SharePoint. And if, if preferred, you can also save uh, different versionings versions of your file if you'd like to keep copies of it. So I see lots of people that still have, I'm going to do save as a traditional way to keep different versions of a file. So my folder is saved, my <clears throat> report is saved on my OneDrive and it is saved on the generic name demo report. So that's the report, the file that I'll be publishing, but just so maybe lots of people like to keep um, historical timestamps of a report. Okay, so if you'd like to do so, you can do so. So that's my report that I want to publish. It's done. It's saved on my OneDrive. So if I go to my OneDrive, you see the report that I'll want to publish with the generic name demo. And some people um, don't use the functionalities of version history tracking uh, from Office 365 and still like to uh, keep different versions, copies of different versions in a classical way. So here's the report. Here's a report with, let's pretend today's date and it's been saved. So now I'd like to publish that. So I'm gonna need the URL of my SharePoint OneDrive. So I'm going to copy only the root of the URL. And now I go to Power BI. So publishing a report in Power BI, uh, you'll need a workspace. So going on workspaces, I use the yellow button, create a workspace. And here I just created a workspace. So there's online documentation about that, but it's quite straightforward. You give it a name and then you end up having a workspace. And here I'm gonna upload the content I wish to share. So doing that, I used a new plus new button and in the drop down list, the last choice is upload a file. So here, even if your uh, documents are on your OneDrive, the path is usually to go through the SharePoint button. So here you type the root and you click connect then you'll be enabled to browse through the path. So I'm gonna go on documents, documents, Power BI, demo, and here it is. So I'll always keep, um, I always upload a file that has a generic name. And you'll see later, if ever I need to use some maintenance and edits on that report, it's always gonna be a report with a generic name that I'll be refreshing and that is connected and uploaded. So I select demo report and I say connect. And it got uploaded. I can go take a look at it. So if I click on the demo report, there it is. So once I upload it, I'll need to um, enter my credentials again. 
if I want to schedule uh, if I want to schedule refreshes. So you go on the data set of your report and the icon schedule refresh takes you to the settings of your data set and you see that uh, credentials should get uh, updated. So you just click on it and then you sign in with OAuth and you probably give it an organizational privacy level and you just sign in. And since it was actually the same uh, data source, I don't need to do it anymore for the second one. So both were coming from my credentials. Because it, all my data sources are from the cloud, I don't need a gateway, which makes things easy. And I can schedule a refresh saying maybe daily at 6 a.m my uh, data and report will get updated. So the final step to publish this inside my organization would be to create an app. So this will convert my workspace as an app and the best way to share is with apps. There's in the instruction, in the comments of that video, there's the path to the online documentation on how to create your app. So let's say we are the next day and we realize we'd like to make some changes to our file. So the report, we'd like to make some edits. So I'm gonna go to where is my report, okay? Uh, locally on my computer, I have access to my OneDrive files, but let's say maybe you don't. What you should do if you want this file to be updated, clicking on the three dots, there's no open option. So you download it locally on your computer. So this will download it in your downloads. The demo report file is there. Leave that. So in your downloads, you have that file and you just double click on it and it's gonna open it locally on your computer. So I'm now another day and we realize we'd like to make some changes to the report. Okay, let me get rid of that banner. just wants to refresh the data. That's not mandatory. It is not mandatory to refresh the data uh, loaded to your file, yet if you get the yellow prompt, you'll need to apply changes in order to be able to save the file. So I'd like to make changes to this report. Um, here I'll go, I'll simply insert a shape, a cute shape to the corner. Okay, so that's the changes I wanted to do to my report. So I'm gonna save. So that file is locally stored in my downloads folder on my computer and I just um, updated the generic file called demo report. Again, if I'm the type of person that likes to keep uh, versions copies and standard in a classical way, I'm gonna do a save as, and now I'm gonna save that file in my downloads with today's date, because that's how I'm keeping versions. Okay, and then I close it. So what do I have in my downloads? I have the same file with two names uh, that was saved uh, just now. Okay, why am I creating a second file? This is optional. It's just that 
I see lots of people that like to do that rather than using the versions history functionalities of Office 365. So I go to my OneDrive, put that down. So I go to my OneDrive where my uh, report is located and this is feeding my Power BI service. This is what's being published on the Power BI service. And now I updated it locally on my computer and I'm just gonna upload it back up. And I'm gonna get a prompt saying, would you like to replace? And I should say yes. So now demo report is the latest file with all the updates I did. And if I like to do that, I can upload uh, just the file with the same file with a different name because I am the type of person that likes to keep an explicit uh, history versioning of different files. So what's gonna happen in my Power BI? So if I go back to my service, uh, once the report is gonna get refreshed, so either we wait for a scheduled refresh to proceed, or if I do refresh now, and then I'll wait a few seconds for the refresh to be processing. You see the scroll, the rolling dots here, and then we'll see the result. Once the refresh is done, I can go assess and click on the report. And if you don't see the updates that you've done, it might be simply um, a browser issue. So simply uh, finding the refresh arrow of the browser and clicking on it would refresh the report. But in our cases, uh, we were seeing the updated version. So uh, that makes the process easy by keeping, by saving your report on your OneDrive and giving it a generic name with no versioning referencing. And that's the file that you're uploading to your Power BI service and that you'll be sharing inside your organization. So if you need to do adjustments, uh, changing a few things, then you just uh, replace that file with the most, uh, most recent version and it'll be fine.